Welcome to the Land of House vlog. Today I have spent uh, a lot of time making some bunk beds into a castle for my niece and nephew. So uh, let me show you what I've got done so far here. Looks like a pretty good little castle. It's got two of those little things up top. Probably should have made another one, but uh, so I'm gonna have a stone pattern that goes down the sides here. It's gonna have a door with a little archway on it. Um, should look pretty good. But uh, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna get this place cleaned up and head inside. Hopefully tomorrow I can bring you along for uh, some fun stuff. But, excuse me, I really wanted to uh, just work hard on getting this thing together now. And one of the coolest things about it is that I did not have to do anything to the bed frame itself. I was able to use all of the connectors here um, so it doesn't have any damage. So later on when the kids want to use this as regular beds, they can. Good morning. After a nice day of work yesterday, I have decided to take the kids off and give Ashley some time. So I've got kids one and two in my car. We uh, started preparing to leave at 10 o'clock. It's now 10.40. That's how long it takes me to get two kids ready for the library. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the trash, ram pump, go shopping at Walmart, and then uh, library time. Shut the door. Okay, here we go. Well, we just got done with Walmart, bought out the store, and uh, Emma's ready to go home. Arrow's asleep. Uh, something fun, I met uh, the Narrow Way Vineyard family. If you go to the home page of my YouTube channel, and the main video that plays uh, for a non-subscriber is the Narrow Way Vineyard Ram Pump install. And um, we may be doing a, um, a video in the springtime or in the summer uh, of an update to show how well it's working. Uh, they said it was working very well, that they um, were able to fill their tanks in no time at the top and just water the uh, grape plants without having to haul buckets. But it's fun to hear a, uh, a good follow-up on a ram pump install. But, okay, Emma just told me she has a big poop and needs to go home to change. So uh, we're gonna do that. Last week, the kids and I planted some seeds in hopes of starting some plants a little bit early. And uh, there's a garden tool that I haven't talked about. I've owned it for a couple years now. It's up under the workshop and it is a uh, little tiller. Let's see here. A Troy built four cycle. Anyway, I uh, thought I would bring this out here, head down to the garden space and see about uh, getting something tilled up. Don't think we need a pressure tank here. I hear these things will really uh, kick you around. But we're gonna give it a try. It uh, rained about, I don't know, 40 hours ago. So the ground is kind of wet, but kind of not. So let's head down here and see what we can do. For a second, I thought we were done before we started. Uh, I didn't know if I had any oil, but I did find some. So let's go ahead and put some of this SAE 30 in here. So I bought this from somebody for 30 bu uh, for 50 bucks. I think it was close to 200 originally. They were uh, moving and said they never used it. Uh, it's not showing up yet. And uh, they said 50 bucks and I said, okay. There's a gas station in my local town that sells the non-ethanol fuel. And so that's what I've got here. I have a feeling these wheels weren't meant for a long cross-country trek like this. <laughs> but it uh, should be fun. I've never used one of these before. I'm kind of anxious to see how well it does in the garden space here. This is my garden space. In the past I tried putting cardboard down to reduce the weeds and perhaps add more soil. And I guess it worked, but uh, this year I'm gonna try doing a little bit of tilling. So I can't till over here where I have blueberries and raspberries, but I figure that this whole side over here, I can do a little till work.
that actually works surprisingly well. Just a small little patch there, but it'll definitely kick you, and uh, especially when you hit these uh, rocks here. So I may uh, have to just come back through every couple of passes, pick out the rocks, and uh, just toss them out here. I like it. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, pick a, like a path and just start uh, working on it and uh, just see what happens. Didn't take long to do two different passes here on about a, uh, I don't know, 15 by 15 square. And uh, it actually pulled out a good many rocks here. So I'm pretty well impressed with that. Now one thing I'm noticing is that last year's grass is definitely uh, clogging this thing up. I had to stop several times and, and clean it out, but it's not too bad. Yesterday's tilling, the weather was kind of overcast and foggy, rainy, so didn't want to get my camera out to uh, potentially destroy it. So uh, if we have time, I'll go back down there this afternoon and do some more. So I just put a shovel in the ground here and I've got my level and I have leveled it off so that it is straight up and down. And it is 12.05, which means it's uh, noon, basically. So what I'm supposed to be able to do is take the angle of the shadow, and that finds uh, north-south. And so that's what I've done. And the sun is kind of in a different direction than I was anticipating. Uh, apparently, sometimes it's okay to have your panels facing west as well, which is that way. So, southwest. Um, <clears throat> Based on our tree situation over here and not having trees on this side, I think I'm going to find a somewhat southwest direction uh, because the sun doesn't top the trees until, oh boy, I gotta go stop my child from climbing this. What you doing over here? That's kind of dangerous if you were to fall off of that wall. Are you okay with that? <laughs> you were watching Wally Dog do that? Anyway, so in reference, here's the house. I'm up the hill in the back, and the shadow is off in this direction, which mean I, means I'd have to have the panels from here over into the woods a bit, and I'd rather have them here and just slightly over here because um, let's see, a 90 degree would be more like that. Um, so anyway, I just want to make sure I get close to south, um, but not too much in the tree. I've been hard at work out here, and I have the top section of the mount installed. So I got the uh, 4x6s with a 2x6 up top, and uh, I decided to go... If it were to be directly south, the hole would have been right about here. Um, so I came down a little bit, and so it's just slightly west. And uh, just looking at the the pipe off of the, the house there, it's uh, coming directly toward us here at a little bit of an angle. And actually you can see, now that it's two o'clock in the afternoon, the shadow is off that way just a little bit. So. That put it, uh, the one o'clock sun, pretty much directly on it. Um, so I think we're close enough. Um, I'm sure it could have gone a little bit better, but uh, like I said, the trees over here kind of block things a little bit in the early morning till about 10.30 or so. Uh, so I just wanted to get everything I could directly above the house here. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna stop there for now and uh, maybe go do some tilling for a moment but that is a good start on the mount. So coming up next, I'm gonna cut the uh, four by four in half, which gives me five and five uh, feet. And that will come out uh, here or so because the panels are roughly three feet, so six feet total, but it'll be on uh, the angle here. I have to go the research just what angle I should lock this down to. I'm assuming it's gonna be the latitude. So uh, here I think we're at like 40 or 41. 
but I'll have to uh, do more research on that for the next step of this build. Now that it's not raining out here, I think I'm going to try and get about 10 more feet or so of the garden tilled. And uh, if I feel like it, I might go over this one more time. I think it'll be pretty good uh, for this year's garden. Well, looks pretty good. Got another uh, good sized section there, which means well over half the garden is now tilled up. And uh, it's pretty rich soil. I think having a couple of years of uh, cardboard in there has definitely made this a lot better than uh, just the clay dirt that it was. Well, uh, I'm gonna head off to uh, pick up that wallpaper that looks like stone for the uh, castle bunk beds that I'm building. And uh, so I guess I'm just going to close up the vlog here and hopefully next week we'll get back into solar panel stuff and uh, finishing up the build of the bunk bed castles. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got some fun solar panel tips, put those down in the description, I mean the uh, comments, <laughs> and uh, I'll read that and hopefully we'll get some things up and running here pretty soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.